Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here back with another video. Now you guys might have noticed there is a new overlay. I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this overlay permanently or just for the current time being. Now it is really cool though because it does match with the current in-game style. So that's awesome. I did get a new one because as you guys can see over here, I now have an iPad instead of a phone, which is super, super cool because iPad is definitely a superior device. Now what we're going to be talking about today is the easiest brawler to win a lane with or just absolutely shred through a team with and that is going to be Spike. Now Spike's been getting little buffs here and there and the recent curveball spike has made him super easy to play even for casual spike players with that being said let's hop into some games and let's show you guys why okay so here we go into our first game we're going to be going up against an m's tara and a pam so obviously a really really good comp so we're just going to be going on this left side obviously left side is good because the rotation of the of the uh, shot or of the rng sorry the spikes are clockwards so if you're shooting somebody on the right, the odds are they're not going to hit. But if you're, if you're missing on the left, they are very likely going to hit. So again, Spike is already a really overpowered brawler. Has been a really good brawler, brawler for a long time. But now even if you miss the shots, you're still going to get the hit because of the, because of the curveball. And it does a pretty good amount of damage, to be honest. So we're going to be able to get this Pam over here. Uh, going to be able to get that kill really easily. And again, I only really hit like one shot. So it is pretty lethal what you can do. Unfortunately, Tara with super is kind of scary, but we should be fine. I think we can just miss over here, and our shots are going to hook around and shoot the Tara. Let's see if we can do that. Yep, there you go. As you guys can see, miss shots. They're still going to hit, so it's absolutely broken. Now, you do have to keep your distance when you're using a, when you're using Spike, obviously, because you are a squishier brawler. Um, but that shouldn't be an issue for you guys. I know you guys can keep your distance, so that's pretty easy for you guys to do. Uh, let's see if we can get this kill over there. We are going to be able to get it. Again, I don't even think I hit all of the shots there, kind of just walking up and missing, but they're still going to count because of curveball. So let's see again, going to put this down. And if you want those that extra damage, obviously you can use your gadget. Jig should be able to get the kill there. He's going to be able to and probably going to just launch out. So again, you guys can see really easy spike gameplay so far. And it's not just on ladder. It's also really good in tournaments, in scrims, whatever you guys want. That's actually how I found it. Um, although we are kind of losing this game, which is pretty interesting. So let's see if we can catch up over here. Not too sure where this Pam is. Oh, it's in the back. Yeah, we might be screwed here, to be honest. Uh, let's see if we can get that guy. We're not going to be able to get him, so we're actually going to lose this game. Um, I, I do blame Jigsaw the Mortis, but anyways, we did run through these guys really easily. Unfortunately, our lanes weren't able to do too much that game, but I think they were trolling. So with that being said, we're going to hop into a second game. Hopefully, we're going to go up against a different lane, and let's see if we can continue dominating with Spike. All right, so here we go, starting up another game. Now, we're going to be facing a Jackie, a Primo, and a Leon. So we do really well against the Jackie and a Primo. Not too well against the Leon, but let's see what we got on our lane. It looks like they don't really have lanes. So let's see. I'm going to kind of like miss a shot over here and just have it hook around. You guys can see that hook is going to be able to hit anybody if they're hiding there. Um, unfortunately, the Leon kind of got around it, but we should be fine. There we go. Able to get that first hit. Again, can't hide from this curveball. It's so broken. It's not even fair. Um, so again, we're missing shots over here, but they're still getting those hits. Still charging our super. So obviously, we're in a really good position. This guy is going to go down with Jig. I'm going to throw my super over here. Should get really good value. I am going to. Uh, looks like their Leon is going to use his invisibility, which isn't really that useful because he used it for escape. Oh my god. Jigsaw just got so outplayed. You really do hate to see it. Anyways, we got to head towards the middle and really start holding on to some control now before this game gets too late. And we lose again. So we're able to get some really good uh, shots off over there. Um, almost able to take out that Primo. That Primo is one shot. Jig's going to be able to kill both of them. Hopefully he can escape this time, but I think he will be able to. Yeah, we got little Jig over here. So we should be fine. We're just going to try and hold down the middle right now since it's wide open. And you guys know that this is going to be an absolute hell for these guys as we're just going to be shooting down this middle and they really have nowhere to hide they just have to get hit by our spike shots because even if they're missed as you guys can see miss missed again they're still going to hit so i, I do feel really bad for these guys um oh ufo is going for a big play he's going to be able to kill two of our teammates over there he's going to pull us in i'm going to put a spike super raid on him going to be able to get that kill and again spike very broken brawler he's not just broken because of the curveball he's been broken for a very long time so this is nothing new um, but it's just just super super superior right now. So we've played some games of gem grab I've obviously as you guys can tell from the gameplay We've been doing really well with spike 
So what we're gonna do is hop over into another mode and let's see if we can keep it up. Let's hop into it and see what happens. All right, so here we go into our Brawl Ball game. Now, this isn't really a great map for this, but I think I think it's still gonna be able to work just because it is so broken. So our teammates are gonna be running Tara and B, two really good brawlers right now in the meta. Really good start for us. Uh, what is happening here? What is happening? Looks like this guy, this Mortis, is just going to be hiding in the corner. So we might be able just to walk up and win this game super quickly. Um, obviously, I think they're giving us a free win. Um, but as you guys can see, we can just like kind of spray shots and it's just going to hit them. It's super, super weird. Now, this is even in the game, to be honest, where you can be rewarded for missing a shot. But anyways, let's hop into another Brawl Ball game. This one doesn't matter. Let's get into it and let's see if we can get that another dub with Spike. All right, so here we hop. Hopefully... This is a real game, so here we hop into our real game. But anyways, we're going up against Mortis, B, and Colt. So you guys can see, I don't know where they are. I'm kind of, well, now I do, I guess. But I'm just spraying this middle. Um, and it's just going to be able to hit them very easily. I uh, should be able to get that kill. We're not going to hit. But anyways, Spike's RNGs are still hitting. Jigsaw is able to get a few good taps over there. Uh, I'm just going to super this Mort. Again, missing shots, but they're still hitting. Look how wide left I can miss this shot. Maybe it'll hit. No, it's not going to hit there. Anyway, still able to get the kill. I don't really like how you get rewarded for missing shots. It doesn't really make sense for me, but I mean, whatever. Um, it is This spike, by the way, is three quarters of what the old overpowered curveball was. So the old overpowered curveball was 100%. They then, oh, he almost scored on himself. They then nerfed spike by 50% and then it added another 100% to the 50, except that only brought it to 75 of the original. So it's three quarters of the old, very broken, 100% meta curveball spike. But I do think we're going to see it come back into the meta and be just as good as it was before, if not better, because the current meta right now is just all tanks. Uh, so we're just going to put this on us for protection. Going to be able to get that kill. Going to go for the shot. Not going to be able to score. You guys can see absolute domination right now. And they have a pretty good comp to just come up and kind of kill a spike. You know, a B is really good against the spike. A Mortis even can come up and just 3-dash you. And then obviously um, the Colt can laser. So they got a pretty good comp against us. But we're still able to do fine. Again, you guys can see just shots right off the start. Going to see if I can score here. Finesse a little goal. Oh, it stops on the line. Unfortunate. Um, but anyways, we should be able to win this game. We've had control the entire time. Um, again, let's see what happens. We're going to walk up on this left side here. Going to be able to hit that RNG. Very easy shot. Going to go for this one. This B is one shot. It's hiding in like its, uh, its gadget right there. I think I did just get a hit on it. Going to be able to get that hit. Again, even if we miss this Mortis, our RNGs are going to hit it. Uh, we should be able to get this Colt over here. Just got to focus on juking. Don't really need to focus on aiming. Gonna put this right on top of us. Mortis is gonna go down, and that is going to be Brawl. So again, just like Gem, we kind of just absolutely ran through them with Spike. So we're gonna do a hot zone game now. Let's see how we do in hot zone. So let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our next game over here. So we're gonna be playing hot zone. Uh, we're going against a penny. I didn't see what the other brawlers were. Uh, so let's see what we got here. We're gonna have a penny, a sandy, and a bow. So we're gonna just sit here. Gonna slowly chip away as you guys can see we have hit every shot so far because of our RNG uh, So again slowly gonna chip away gonna be able to take possession of this hot zone even though it was a two-on-one we We're able to get it fairly easily because again hide behind a wall just shoot forward even if you miss the shots They're somehow gonna hit so we have a pretty good lead over here not really because of us But because to our right side they kind of got it on lockdown um, So we're able to get another hit over there. Obviously you got want to be going for the full hits uh, but there's no shame in just, you know, shooting and missing on purpose. And then it's somehow going to hit if you don't really have a good angle on them. Uh, so again, looking pretty good here. We have a pretty good hold down on this side. That Penny isn't going to be able to stay away from our shots. Same with that Sandy. Going to just use our super over here. Going to get hit by one shot. Going to get them out of the zone. Come on let's get that kill there we go misses and somehow hits again absolutely broken i know i sound like a broken record just saying this over and over again but i can't really say enough how good this brawler is right now and especially with the current meta being a lot of tanks or a lot of squishy brawlers you're able to do a lot of work with you know your big shots with spike or your little rng shots um so i can't really say enough how op this is so we're gonna walk forward over here um oh this is kind of scary you might go get taken out we're going to, but we got enough, uh, we got enough HP over there. Not enough HP, sorry. Enough 
zone you know coverage in order for them to just walk in and win the game and again star player really really well we 2v1 at the start of the game by literally hiding behind a wall and just missing shots and eventually wearing them down and that's going to be it for the live game so that's going to be it for the live games again absolutely ran down or sorry ran through these guys super 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 easy with this curveball spike now anyways with that being said what we're going to be doing now is showing you guys some gameplay from a scrim i'm going to be showing you guys against other fellow north american pro players how spike does against them so with that being said let's hop into those replays and let's show you guys what happened so here we go into the first scrim so over here we have my team we got og jigsaw and myself playing spike of course and then real canadian toonie and alex so six pretty good um, and a pro player so right here I have that right side you guys can see RC isn't really able to get near me because I'm a spike so I'm able to get a really aggro position off the start he wants to come back and defend but he can't get too close to me I'm able to hit two shots on him and right there I'm able to get my super and you guys know the gadget plus spike combo I do 40% to the save RC tries to come near us we're able to just walk up to him and get the kill and again gadget and just shoot shots onto the safe and we do an incredible amount of damage now this isn't really something that's totally rare right now because it, your brawler is just so absolutely strong when you're playing Spike that people just get out of your way and they say, you know what, you go do you, I will go do me. You guys can see OG come here and almost win the game. But anyways, it's kind of just us going back and forth and eventually I just throw a Spike Super onto the safe and win it. So let's hop into the next game and again show you guys what happens. Okay, so hopping into our final game that we're going to show you guys today. Um, we are going up against our number one counter, which would be a Sprout. Now, Toonie's a very good player, a very good Sprout. Um, but you guys are able to see with spike. We're just gonna keep our distance and hit tuning with those curveball spikes Now it is a really hard challenge for a spike. You're very rarely gonna win this So I'm showing you guys exactly how you guys want to win it He does get me to one shot a few times But again, you want to keep your range and just wear him down eventually get your super and it is a sprout So if you're if the enemy team sprout isn't doing that well The, uh, the rest of them are gonna go down as you guys can see We just waited for OG to get that kill and, and get help us out with the lane We got a really nasty RNG over there when we hit um when we hit alec 26 we hit him from like four we missed the shot by like four tiles and the spike somehow hit him so that's absolutely deadly and you guys can see we're just dominating lane missing shots on purpose still able to get the kill now unfortunately rc is going to be able to kill us over there we did trade um but that's just the power of spike they're they're going to be trying to trade trying to just go even with you and that's how they're going to try winning the game um but anyways you guys can be as you guys saw with the sprout gameplay really easy to win as long as you're doing it how you know you're supposed to you're not just running up you're not just doing whatever um and it, although it is a challenge with spike you can honestly win any single matchup right now so please play spike i know you guys like these videos where i tell you guys what brawlers to use what's really good in the meta so hope you guys enjoyed this but anyways it's going to be it for me today again if you guys want to see something specific let me know in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't like comment do everything we got a really cool video for you guys tomorrow that's going to be it for me today i will catch you guys then peace